Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we are checking out Tainted Zoe from the Benevolence mod. This is a new mod in the workshop that I've seen recently and it seems really cool. This is the Tainted version and basically a very electric themed. This is kind of a 120 volt type character where we don't shoot but getting near enemies is how we deal damage. Um, pretty interesting idea. Definitely quite difficult. Um, and we've got this cosmic eye here which lets us swap between two different modes. This mode, we take broken heart damage, kind of risky, and we take double damage as well. Uh, but we do a lot more damage, so I'm going to be sticking in this mode primarily, I think. Um, not a great starting item there, to be honest. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, I think if we swap mode first and then use this, yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll leave him there. We don't want to be taking a broken heart to spawn one of them. Uh, but, I don't know, we, if we get enough money, they can be kind of nice to play. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so if we get increased damage and increased fire rate, we can increase what our electricity does. But as you can see, very 120 volt S, we've got to get quite close to enemies in order to zap them. Ooh, pill, I'll take the pill. Now, we don't have a way to destroy poops, actually, um, outside of rooms, which is potentially concerning. That could, that could lead to some sticky situations. There might have to be some sort of radius zapping on poops there. Um, oh, that's a very, very good item. Yes, very, very good item. As you can see, we get some skelly bobs, and as we kill enemies, we'll potentially get more. We can create like a little army of these dudes, and they'll uh, they'll do our bidding for us, which is rather nice. The first item was a bit of a stinker, but second item, very good. You can see the skelly bobs already doing some good stuff. But yeah, I'm a little scared to take damage as this guy because I know that I can take broken heart damage, which is sketchy. But we'll survive. And as, as you can see with these enemies, we can stay out of the way. Ooh, these are like headless birdies. Oh, well, no, bodiless birdies, should I say. Just kind of hovering around and shooting things. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's zapping them, which is actually not a bad thing because that should mean we can chain lightning a little further by zapping our friends. Which is kind of good, right? It's a bit of extra something. Don't walk into that blue fire, thank you. Yeah, I gotta say, having the extra friends that get zapped is kind of an interesting idea here. Ooh, that was such a bad hit there. Such a bad hit. But we did get some money here, which is good. As you can see, we took a full heart of damage there and we gained a broken heart. So definitely a little, uh, a little sketch. Definitely a little sketch. This is tricky. Um, creates a portal. Um, I kind of want to go for that, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna destroy that there and grab it. I know that that gets rid of the active that we just got, but I'm not a massive fan of it, anyways, for this character because we've got to take damage to use it. I think it's better off that we. Um... Oh my god. Okay. Hello, fellas. Better if we take this candle and use it on the next floor. I think we can just use it straight away on the next floor, right? Right, we got three pennies for you. Oh, you cost five per, don't you? Okay. That was close. Go, my Bernie minions. Go. You're blocking shots for me. That, that is what I appreciate right now. Unfortunately, this guy's going to be a real nuisance for us. Okay, we got him, we got him. Right. Bernie boys, don't let me get hit too much. Oh my god, they did a lot of damage to him. Good, good. Uh, tears up and damage up is both very, very good for us. The tears up is going to mean that lightning is more regular. Segmented enemies seem to die very fast with this character as well, so... You can see that we do a lot there. Oh man, we got one of these guys as well. Devil deal here, but unfortunately do not have the health for it. I'll take the bird foot, why not? Not the best Cracker Jacks player, but hey her. Probably should have gone to downpour, because we want water, but we ended up getting flooded caves anyways, so... Wasn't bad. Pluto, tears up, yes. More tears up is really good here. Being tiny is also an interesting, uh, interesting thing to have here, because it's a bit hard for us to get hit now. Yeah, but having water on the floor uh, means that the zapping range is a lot higher, so we got quite lucky. I was going to go to downpour to ensure that we had water on the floor, 
but we ended up getting kind of lucky here anyways. Beautiful. Ah, we don't have two bombs right now. We'll come back when we have... Well, we only have one bomb realistically, but we'll come back when we have a bomb. But yeah, I really like to see um, new mods like this. Um, interesting idea, playing... I always like the idea of taking an idea that exists in the game and expanding upon it. And this very much does that. Of course, um, this isn't fully fleshed out with synergies uh, at the moment. But there is potential for a lot of unique synergies with the 120 volt type item that could even be crossed over to 120 volt itself. I do know that it does have a few specific synergies already. I think technology has one and I think... Um, I think also C-Section has one as well. I'm not sure about like Brimstone or Tech X or anything like that. But this is a very work in progress mod. It's quite new. So forgive the developer if it's not fully polished yet. They will get to it, I'm sure. Especially if more of you try out the mod and stuff. Always helps out. Yes. This is going well. The electricity is, uh, is pumping. Just gotta be very careful with getting hit. Luckily, my burnies are doing a good job of keeping me safe because they're getting in the way of potential shots. That's not bad. They're also making things very loud because <laughs> electricity just keeps zapping between them. I'm very glad to have got Pluto, though. I really was looking for fire rate up, and the size down is uh, is nice. Definitely helps. 16% um, chance of getting double hearts, coins, bombs, pick up, pick up with options no longer disappear. That's probably a good one to take, to be honest, just for the 16% chance right now. But I like the uh, pickups with options don't no longer disappear. Is that, that, that's potentially very, very good. Quite a specific interaction, but if you can make it work, you get quite a lot out of it. The only problem is with all these skelly bobs, I can't really see where the hell I am, because <laughs> I'm so tiny now. There you go. You got a double already. Yeah, because I can't really see where I am now, it makes things a little trickier. Oh, you can see the range on the electricity here, though. Yeah, see, we definitely need a way of destroying poops manually. Because in situations like this, I'm just kind of stuck. <laughs> oh, luckily with Pluto, though, I can walk over the poop, which is unexpected but very useful. <laughs> yeah, look, that, that this doesn't destroy at the end of the room, so if I didn't have Pluto, it'd be a hard, like thing to get over. I'm guessing maybe walking into the poops destroys them, because that's what just happened there, so I'll try that in the future. Right, boss time. We got this fella. I'm gonna kind of let him do his thing, and then I'm basically gonna let my Bernies tank the hell out of this. He's, they're, they're all gonna die, but we've got the range on our electricity to stay out of the way here and do just fine, so I'm gonna potentially try and stay out of the way. There you go. Beautiful. Our Bernie army is doing well. Hey, plus luck is nice. Okay, down we go. So unfortunately, no more water for us, which is a shame. We've got regular caves this time around. Oh, wait, we got another one of these portals? Um... Just gonna say it, I don't think that portal is meant to spawn more than once. Not quite sure what I've done to achieve this, but uh, if this is going to happen with every item room from now on, we're going to have a very planetarium heavy run here. I'm not going to, even though it's a uh, golden trinket, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on. Having a golden version of this would be nice, though. That's more tiers, though. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. The, the, the extra tiers is really nice here. Ah, damn it. I took a broken heart there. Could definitely use some more health. Definitely use a bit more health. My health right now is pretty low. As for a question of the day for today, a bit late in the episode to do one, but is there a specific mod that you've seen that's kind of new recently that you'd like me to cover? I'm always interested in hearing if there's something that you guys would like to see me do a video on. Oh, that's a soul heart, thank you. So Ternus is really nice for us here as well. Because we've actually got some tiers that we can use now, which means that if we get anything that isn't synergizing with the 120 volt aspects of this character, our tiers will still adopt its effect. That was a really unfathomably stupid hit to take there. It really was. That was just silly. How are you not dead? Yeah. 
I will not give up on the uh, hard mode of this character. I like the extra damage. I like the extra risk. But I do like the way that we're getting burn-themed enemies that are, like, appropriate to the enemy that have just been killed as well. That's kind of interesting. We've got these hearst heads. We've got the little worm there after killing the charges. The ace of spades. We've seen an item room this floor. Cool. Kind of a tricky boss fight here. We got electric fight the electric there. There you go. We got him. Let's grab my birdie boys. Yeah, there you go. The the working is a nice distraction. I'll say that. Ooh, gummy bear is amazing for us here as well. This is also a size down. My goodness. And we got an angel deal here. Good. Um, excuse me? Fully blockade. Ah, oh, okay. It was just timed, I think. Wait, was that another size down? Or am I just still that small? I don't know. Either way, plus damage there is very, very nice. We are the tiniest, tiniest of electric conduits. I like it. Oh, let me reset that. Didn't realize what that room was for a second there. Cool. Ooh, damn, we got this guy now. Oh, I can just slip through and grab that button. I don't even need to wait for him. That's funny. Hello there. My burn army has uh, has grown to quite the sizable, sizable army. Right. Definitely could do it with a bit more speed though. It feels weird being this small and not being super fast. My speed isn't exactly low, but more speed would be nice getting close to enemies and such. I think that if you have low enough speed, you should be able to get through these doors without taking uh, low enough speed, low enough size. If you're small enough, you should be able to get through those doors without taking damage. Now that's a lot of keys. My goodness, that's a lot of keys. Wasn't expecting to get quite that many. I mean, I'll take it, but yeah, definitely a little surprising. Oh, the electricity is beautiful right now. Damn it. Terrible room there for us. Oh, not only a terrible room, it deleted most of my friends. We're actually going to Holy Bernie at some point, though. Yeah, th this item is like that trinket, the Holy Burn or whatever it's called, the Shining Burn. Just on crack. <laughs> I'm so tiny. I'm, I'm very glad that I've got this dessert, like, poop platter on my head. So otherwise I would have a very hard time keeping track of myself. So I, I didn't get another portal on this floor, I'm noticing. I didn't get a, a portal directly to the item room that gave me a planetarium, so unfortunately that streak seems to be over. Which is fair. Endless Nameless there is kind of interesting. Um, Sell an item or pick up in target range. I don't know. Not that useful. Doesn't think the jar does anything for us either. I didn't really consider the jar. Another one of these chests. I'll open it up. Why not? Normally it's about seven coins to open. Oftentimes you get more value than you put into it. Not every time, but oftentimes. There you go, we got back to basically what we started on. I think one less coin, so we only lost one. Secret room here looks likely. Oh damn, there's our double bomb from our uh, planet, uh, planetarium, our thingy item. Angel item. Dude, that is a lot of stuff. Wow. Alright guys, I kind of get it. The electricity is going wild right now. You can, you can leave it be. Get that extra angel chance. Only meager, but why not? 
One thing I quite like about this character as well, you can play it one-handed. You don't need to shoot. You're always shooting. I kind of like that. Honestly, that trinket might not be too bad for us, considering it's, um... Whoa! Um... Um... How did I do that? <laughs> I walked over the gap and I don't know how. Please don't crash. Sometimes it crashes when you do this. Okay, there you go. I don't know how I did that. Number two is an interesting one. I might as well grab, grab that as well, because we're getting close to enemies. Let me just see if I can do that again. How did I do that? I've not got enough speed to do that either, so I'm really confused what happened there. Like, when you have really high speed, you can get over gaps, but I don't have really high speed, so... Not entirely sure. That one has confused me. Aha! Your children are your undoing. As are they for most parents. Okay. We're currently sitting on five broken hearts. This is a particularly rough boss, but our burnies... Our burnies are uh, here to take the heat off of us. That's a size down, baby. What on earth is going on? The speed up's nice, but that's another size down. We've got three separate size down items right now. That's a lot for one run. That is not normal. That is irregular, to say the least. Yeah. Arcade here could be interesting. Aubrey's not bad. I'll take Aubrey. Aubrey allows us to have a little fella in the shop that we can buy active items from. Now, they do cost 15 cent per active item, so we can't afford one yet. And we only have, like, one shop left. But, we're not really spending our money on anything else. And I think the chance of getting a decent active item is not bad. If we get the money to, to facilitate it. Kind of confusing on this floor, because we've got burn-based enemies and a lot of burn-based friends. It's a little hard to keep track of. So many keys, game. I have 37 of them. I don't need more. It's so confusing keeping track of where I am. I just, at the minute, I'm just keeping mostly a track of the um, the fly that's surrounding me and the, the ring from Saturnus. Otherwise, I'm pretty confused. I suppose it mainly depends on the type of room we get. Hey, thank you. Oop, smelted trinket. We got ourselves Stern of the Pit. I've not heard of that before. A plastic knife? No. 10% chance uh, to shoot a bleeding tear. Interesting. I wonder if that'll work for us. The moon. I'll keep the moon for the next floor. My god. I'm not going to take that right now. The hand comes down. I don't know which hand it is, though. Okay, it's regular hand. Cool. Just straight up HP is uh, not bad. And then... Ah, I can't get that, I see. Yeah, it was a choice between one or the other. why I went in here. Give me enough money to spend on Aubrey. Damn you, not enough. I'm pretty sure it's 15 minimum to get an active. It might be 10, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. Yeah, we are in Necro 2 here, so we have to go back to that shop if we get enough money. Wow. 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 Okay. Just just do me a favor and play that back and watch the absolute fuckery that I just embedded upon myself. I dropped a bomb, but because I have that item that drops two, I dropped one here and pushed the other one into the chest, and I pushed it just at the right time to explode 
the little fucking grabby guy and make him launch the chest across the gap to the point where I can't retrieve any of the items. All of which would have been useful to me. That was, uh, that was silly. Anyways, I guess we'll get going. That was very silly to me. I absolutely screwed myself. Ow. Oh wait, did I not get hit there? Okay. Somehow, somewhere. Guess my small size is helping out quite a lot. Um, I think I'm going to go negative because I need the damage. And then... Probably just going to go with the mind here. Not the most creative choice, I know, but... Right, boss rush, is there anything in here that would really step it up? No. <laughs> oh, wait. There is items in the corners that I didn't see. Yeah, no. Nothing in here that's going to really step things up for us. I think we're good to go. Unfortunately, missed out on Aubrey paying out there, but... Whatever. Right. Pop this. And of course, we're going to get a ton of money now. Um... That's, uh, that's annoying. That's a really good thing to get right after we have no need for money anymore. Unless Aubrey can spawn on other floors, but I don't think it can. I think it's shops only. Oh, we are hitting with bleed. Our tears are on occasion applying bleed. I think, I'm not sure if that's our lasers though, or if I, that's our Saturnus tears. I'd guess it's just our Saturnus tears. Good. Ow. Okay, bad hit, bad hit. I'm not giving in, though. Get hit by my fly. Hey. Nice. I've never seen bacon pancakes. Size up! What are you talking about, size up? Spawns one pickup of each type. Okay, that's a that's a new item for me. I've not seen that before. It gave me a size up though. How dare it? All right, away we go. We are on six broken hearts now, but I think that's pretty good going considering. We'll just beeline it to the boss here. Ah, oh, now that was a really silly way to take damage. And I took two hearts of damage. Oof. Okay. So we're we're in a point now where taking damage is, is very, very detrimental. So we probably want to swap. The amount of damage we lose is insane, though. We lose an excruciating amount of damage from doing that. Luck penny's kind of nice. Damn, how did we get so much luck? Oh man, now, I, I've got a cosmic eye. I, I much prefer the extra damage, even though it's way riskier. The risk is worth it. Just gotta kill stuff fast. That's all. You okay, sir? Would like to pop your head up? There you go. Super secret room, I might as well do that. Beautiful. Got an extra soul heart out of that. Oh, we got a rainbow guy there as well. Worship would be very, very, very risky right now. So I'm probably just going to stick with this. The Mum's heart fight is going to be kind of rough here. In fact, I'd probably take this into the Mum's Heart fight. Just to get a little bit of an advantage. It won't help a lot. But it will slow her down. Slowing her down is the best I'm going to get. Oh my lord. It's hard to even sit close enough. But the double bombs, I forgot about the double bombs. That's rather useful. 
Just skipped out my devil deal there for no good reason. Completely forgot it was going to be there. Oh, it's still there. Right, technically I can re-roll these with this and see if I get anything worthwhile. Not really. I was really just hoping I'd get something that would give me enough health back to make it worthwhile, but I didn't. Right, down we go. I don't know if we'll end up winning this run. This is definitely looking a little iffy uh, if I stick in the form that I'm in, which you know I'm going to do. Oh, damn. Okay, that's a lot of friends. That's a lot of friends. Cracked key to open up the chest here. Oh, really? There's a chance they can drop red items and it gave me a bunch of keys. I've already got 43, my guy. Already got 43. I'll hold on to that there. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was a bad hit. Okay, we are down to one hit away from death, but I'm not switching. I refuse. <gasps> Yay! We now don't won't die in a single hit. I feel blessed. I don't know what's going on with this room, but it scares me. Oh, that miserly heart actually counts as a full heart. Nice. I honestly don't know how Satan's going to go. This is a bad boss to get here. Luckily, he died pretty quick, actually. Okay, yeah, this is going to be kind of rough. Damn it. A little bit preemptive there on the bomb. Thought it was hard to get it exactly right. That was a good bomb. Oh my god, I'm crapping my kegs right now. Ah, I walked into him. What am I doing? Okay, I got through that, but we are now actually one hit away from death, so... Give me a nine lives. Give me a nine lives, please. Darn. Darn. Didn't get anything to help me out there. Nothing that gives me health or nothing. Okay, so we're probably dead here, but... Let's just play and hope for the best, I guess. Hoping for the best is the best we're going to get. Okay, we've got brimstones either side of the room here. This guy's kind of potentially tricky. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's doing some new attacks I haven't seen before. Okay. It always scares me when I don't know why a room isn't over. When a room doesn't end and I'm not exactly sure why. Is that a... P is that a tinted rock? No. That's just how that looks. Oh, fuck off, you. Oh, that was close. He's dead. We made it to the boss. I don't think we'll be making it much further, but we made it to the boss. Right, friends, you are helping me. Continue to do so, please. But double bombing is very nice, I'll say that.
But if he does a brimstone attack, I'm I'm scared. Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> Holy hell, that was clutch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase of Tainted Zoe, a very cool character. Please go check out the mod, I'll try and leave a link in the description. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.